All right. Good. Normally, um, I will tell you uh, now to follow along. I will give you the um, free. We'll give you the link in the chat, and you can all follow along. So I would suggest to actually use another email. So, sorry, your your student EHB email. I already have it, so I'm going to be using uh, a different one. Hold on for a second. So the link I, pr I put in into the thing, just fill everything in. Company, of course not. How are you using it? I'm learning Mongo. Work email, your student email, name, password, and then click on start and then wait. I'm also going, all right. So everybody, put in a funny name for your organization, doesn't matter. Uh, your project name, of course, Web2 2021, something like that. So your project is unique. Um, and of course, what is your preferred language? JavaScript, of course. And we're clicking on continue. If you click on continue, you take the uh, you take your credit card and you here it's about about hundred dollars a month for the best one. So uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, we get the free one, the left one. Start your cluster. And of course, this is uh, this can be a bit daunting in the beginning, but it's not that hard. It's basically, what is your cloud provider? Honestly, I don't care. So we're just getting AWS, uh, which is um, uh, Amazon Web Services. Good, you can have cloud, you can have, see, in Google Cloud, you have Belgium, which is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's in Charleroi, a very big data center. We don't care, I just use a AWS, it works. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then you can choose here. I I, ch I chose Frankfurt, jawohl, uh, the Germans. The rest, you stay off of it. You have 512 megabytes of storage and that's all you need. Create your cluster. And then you should be done. And this is something, no, oh, it's being created. This is something very cool. Uh, it has like, connect to Atlas getting started guides on the left. And basically we're gonna do that. You're gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna keep this account for now for the next session. Otherwise I have to create another email uh, for that. So I'm just gonna, gonna going to show you everything because if you click on here, that's also cool. If you click on here, it will actually give you pointers on where to click and what to do. So I know it by now. So we're going to database access and we need to create a user that will have access to our database. Now. Of course, I'm going to add a new one here. It's you're you're not going to have any, so you're going to have a big button in the middle. Add new database user. You're going to take a name and a password. Now, in the beginning, just for this demo, do the same. Either admin admin or root root, just for demo's sake. Then my code will work for you as well. So I'm going to take admin admin. Ooh. Read and write to any database. Good enough for me. Add user. You can go snoop in the settings later. All right, now you have a user. Perfect. The second thing you need to do is go to network access. Let's delete everything. It's gonna look like this, add an IP address. So click on the green button. <coughs> My apologies. You can do either add current IP, which is gonna take your and put it in there, or you, maybe do this, allow access from anywhere so we have an open cluster. It will pe do, do a bit of pending, pending, pending until it's active, it's configuring. And then instead of the dummy data, and this is the most important thing, go to clusters, okay? So clusters up here, this that's just the, the name of it. You have a button here, collection. Like I said, collections were the um, tables you're going to be using. So collections, if you click on that, you will not have any uh, probably, and you will have to create a new database. I will delete mine here for a second. For example, I will delete mine here. Oof. Or I, I just create a new one. So here you create a new database, which is the one you're going to be creating for this session to, to practice with. So session five database name is session five. I'm gonna call it B because I already have one. And the first collection you're gonna be using. Now, my collection is gonna be called board games because I'm gonna be saving the data 
in that collection. Create. And you will see here, 5B is here, that's the database. Shut up, Google. Uh, and in board games, there are no documents. So this is your place where you're gonna store your data. And then of course in board games, what can I do for you? Oh, you can do nothing for me and please be quiet. Here's an update. <laughs> okay. Everybody caught up? <laughs> Here's an update. <laughs> uh, okay. So board games, you can, and now you have your database. Now you have your database and you can insert documents. So I'm in the database, insert document. And you will see that it will automatically place an ID. This might be a bit weird as in name, uh, Innis, for example, enter. This is a bit weird to enter, but if you click on this button, the left one, you notice that this is just JSON. Like I said, name, uh, Du, 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 du. Genre. I'm just gonna add something. Strategy. All right. Insert. And this is just a document. Now I have an example already. I added the board games manually. Ter Terra Mystica, Food Chain Magnet, Gloomhaven. I'm gonna delete Gloomhaven because I'm gonna be adding it in just a second. All right. So again, you can play with this. I'm gonna finish the tutorial and then basically you need to do what, I'm, what, what I am just showing, okay? Now comes the most important part, connecting to your uh, database in code, okay? So we're going back to clusters, connect. Again, this, this thing is pre-recorded so you can actually uh, revisit it. Uh, pre-recorded what am i saying uh, i am live don't don't worry this is recorded so you can watch it later connect to your application it will let you choose which driver so which code are you using for example if you use c plus plus then you have different code of course but of course we are going to be using node and it will have a block of code now we're going to be using that include copy and I am going to do uh, a small demo of course in here uh, now it's not like focus a bit on what I'm saying right now so you can test it out later yourself that's the most important thing right now so the, mo the important things on Mongo is you have a URI, a specific URL that you're gonna be connecting with, with your details. So for example, I create the admin user. Admin is changing, the password is admin. And I'm going to be using, uh, I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna check on my collections. I need a database. So I'm gonna be using the database session five. cleaning it up a bit. So I'm going to be using database session five and the collection board games later. So session five. It's going to call. It's going to um, try and connect. It's going to connect to the database. Session five and the collection board games. This will not have really like, um, this will not really work or, well, it will work, but it won't do anything. We will, um, of course, do a full demo at the end. Now, of course, I'm doing a Mongo demo. As you can see here, Mongo, it requires an NPM project, which I have already created. So it has the dependency MongoDB. So what I did was NPM install MongoDB. It will download the package. 
and then in the node modules we have MongoDB with all the rest of them. Okay. In my MongoDB, uh, then I can call node index two. Yeah. I don't get anything besides just a regular warning. You will always get this, just ignore it. But of course, this is not good enough. I want to actually make a connection to the database. Now, and this is where documentation comes in. If this link is also in the resources, so don't worry if you don't find the URL. Um, for those who want it already, it's in the chat. Now, Connect your database cluster is okay, but we want to insert and view data. Mo uh, lot, in, uh, lot more important. Five minutes, we're gonna do it way faster. As in, read this. I'm gonna explain it to you now, but read this, okay? So we're not gonna be using Python. <laughs> Don't use Python. We're gonna be using Node.js. So in the previous section, you used the Node.js driver to connect to your Atlas cluster. That's probably here. It's a step-by-step -step instruction to install MongoDB, open the connection, connect your application, select Node.js, copy, dummy code, and run it. So go by it step-by-step -step and read it. If it doesn't work, you're not understanding it correctly. So read it again, see if you understand what it's supposed to do, and try again. Insert view data, and if, of course, if you're stuck, ask me. Um, here in Node.js, we have dummy code. So the following sample application adds a document to a collection called people in the test database. We have our own databases. That's why my exercise says you're going to do the getting started tutorial, but you're going to make a database called session five. You're going to have a collection called board games and you're going to have Terra Mystica and food chain magnet in there, which is what I have. Is it in my different browser? Yeah. So I have Terra Mystica and Food Chain Magnet in there. And then you are going to the Getting Started Guide. You're going to be inserting Gloomhaven and getting one board game back. So I'm just going to follow the tutorial. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to paste it right here. And I'm going to adjust it with what I know. Require MongoDB, Mongo client. Good enough for me. Um, whoopsie. Then replace the following with your Atlas connection string. So of course, this string is the one that uh, is unique to your, th to your thing. So we are going back to our cloud. Go to overview, I assume, no, cluster, cluster, connect. So save that somewhere, the URL, connect your application. Uh, just, okay, just the URL is enough. So copy the URL. It's a bit shorter as well. And then replace the username with the actual username. So I'm gonna be using root. I have two users, so root, root, the database name is called session five. All right, we're on our way. Database name, again, session five. Still don't understand why I have to put it in twice, but still, let's go. I have my database name. And then, now I hope the knowledge is coming back to a sync and a wait, because now we're gonna be using it. Just very small thing, what is this application? It's an asynchronous function, and at the end, it's going to run. If there is an error, it's going to catch the error. You do not have to worry about try catch right now. You're going to learn that in Dev3. Just take this and work with it. It's going to connect to the client and it's going to console log to say it's correctly connected. Good. I don't have to do anything with this. It's going to capture the database. Client DB database name. Okay. Do it. Collection people. No, we don't want a collection people. We want board games. And then construct a document and it's going to insert a document. Well, I told you we're not going to be using people. We are going to be using a board game, namely Gloomhaven. And you can go to 
you can go to the, the, the JSON file from before and just copy the object of Gloomhaven. Copy. Paste. Of course, it's an object, it's not a JSON file, so we have to remove the brackets. This is all strings, perfect. Okay, now we have a valid object. This is just a JavaScript object, board game document. Okay, again, we're a, we're a step closer. Insert a single document, wait for the promise so we can read it back. Okay, perfect. Insert one. So apparently a connection has a feature, uh, a function called insert one, and it's inserting a person document. No, it's inserting my board game document. So that's this one. We are awaiting, so the code is gonna wait here and then find one document. The find one function will get the first board game it will, or the first document it will see and return it into my doc. And then we're gonna log it into the console. Let's test it out. Uh, yeah, note. So, connected correctly to the server, perfect. And I get back the Terra Mystica one, which is the first element. Now, of course, that's this here. We only print one thing to the console, which is this one. So it was correctly in getting the data from my server, perfect. It's also immediately an object, as you can see by the colors. So you can immediately start working with that. If you do dot uh, name, you can get the data for the name. Of course, we want to test if we insert our document. So we go to our cluster, collections, and of course, board games. It's going to load the documents. Et voila, we have Gloomhaven in the pocket. And that's a very small demo of what you need to be able to achieve for the basic MongoDB um, exercise. That's just... Afterwards, you're only going to be working with MongoDB for your course project. So you're going to be learning how to insert data, read data, update data, and delete. And it's, this is just using the documentation mostly.